Hello lovely lady, in today's video I want to talk to you about something that has had an immense impact on the way I run my business. Not only has Moon Cycle Alignment transformed how I see myself, it's actually opened up a whole new way of running my business. So if you recall, in our last video, we talked about our moon cycle or our menstrual cycle mimicking the seasons and the moon phases. So if our period is the new moon, which is winter, and then we move into spring, which is our follicular phase, which is also um, the waxing moon phase, and then we move into the full moon phase, which is ovulation, and that's summertime, our inner summer. And then we go into our inner autumn, which is the premenstrual phase or the waning moon phase, and then back into winter. We can actually take this further and actually see how when we're in spring and summer, our masculine energies are dominating. And when we're in autumn and winter, our feminine energies begin to dominate. And if we understand these energies and what they represent, and what tasks are actually conducive to each of these energies, we can start to structure our tasks, our calendars around these energies. So here's a look at what I mean by that. When you're in spring and summer, your masculine energies are dominating. And autumn and winter, and this isn't really autumn and winter, it's more of like kind of if you look at the summer there, you, you're you literally at the point of ovulation, you have a huge amount of feminine energy going on. And if you look at um, winter, where we have that white dot, you do have masculine energy that's coming in strong, right? So you're, even though feminine energies are dominating and masculine energies dominate the growth phase, um, you still have a little bit of the opposite energy at play. But for the most part, spring and summer is, think of more masculine energies dominating, autumn and winter, your feminine energies are dominating you. Okay, so what does that mean? The reason this is important is because wouldn't it be easier to plan your tasks according to your energy? What do I mean by that? So masculine energies are growth energies. They are about structure. They are about logic, achieving, rational thinking. It's about doing. It's projective. It's outward. Um, and if you even want to think about this and what I was talking about, you know, like, spring where things are starting to take structure, right? You're starting to form something new here and you need to put the rules and the logic around it. Feminine energies are more flowing. They're more contractive, uh, contract, they're contraction energies, but they're introspective. Um, it's about things like intuition, play, creativity, emotions. Masculine energy is kinetic. It's about doing. And feminine energy is magnetic. It's about receiving. It's about pulling in the things that you need. It's all about inward and masculine is about the outward. So are you ready to harness increased productivity, right? That's why we're here. You need to know your growth phase versus your contraction phase. You need to understand when are you in that growth phase? When are the masculine energies more at play? Because remember, we all have masculine and feminine energies. And I probably should have clarified this sooner. This isn't about being male or female. We all have masculine energies and they are at play at a higher level in your body um, during that growth phase. So what do we do? So in my contraction phase... I like to call for tasks. So what do we do? So in the contraction phase, schedule tasks that call for increased emotion, increased intuition, playfulness, creativity, alone time. So this might be a good time to, you know, um, write up your social media posts or do any kind of creative writing around your business. Come up with those ideas. Channel inwards for new ideas. Um, Anything that you could do alone, maybe it's writing the proposals or writing that book or that story or whatever is those creative tasks, your emotions are higher at this time. So tune in and tap in and use that to your advantage. The growth phase, on the other hand, you want the tasks that call for logic, structure, analysis, planning, collaboration. This is where you want to stack your meetings, meet with your team, meet with your clients, your partners, do your sales pitches, do your sales pitches during ovulation. Cause remember you're in your heart center, you're outwardly, completely outwardly aligned. Um, 
do your numbers, your admin, your anything that if you're trying to define a structure around your business or your job or you know, a good way that I like to look at it is if I'm working on a big presentation, I can create the structure of the presentation when I'm in my growth phase. And when I'm in my more creative alone time phase, I can go in and actually do the creativity and, you know, the making it look pretty, putting the ideas into the structure, writing it out. So schedule this logic stuff, anything that has to do with that in the growth phase and creativity in the contraction phase. So this is just literally stacking tasks. Remember, spring and summer, I can be more outwardly aligned. I have more energy, more logic, more structure. And the opposite goes in your autumn and winter. This is about knowing your flow and where your energy is flowing and aligning with it instead of hustling. I mean, there's no point in trying to do a task that just isn't working for you at the moment. So if you're in your contraction phase, for example, and you're trying hard to do a task that requires a lot of analysis, you're not there. Your energy isn't there. Your energy wants to play. It wants to be creative. It's full of emotion. And here you are trying to do a task that requires you to harness your logical thinking skills. You're just not aligning and you're, you're just hustling and working harder. It's all about efficiency. So there you have it, ladies. Align, align, align. There's no need to hustle. There's no need to try and work against your natural rhythms. There's no need to always be swimming upstream. You need to learn to go with the flow. So if anything you've seen in the video today resonates with you, then why not come and join my Facebook group, Find Your Tribe, where we talk all things moon cycle alignment. You can also download my free guide to your moon cycle and you can find the link to that and the Facebook group in the description below. And if you're super ready to find a life that's aligned with your inner seasons, if you're super ready for a life of flow and ease, if you're ready for nourishment, if you're ready to set those healthy boundaries, then I invite you to check out my online six week course. In this course, I will teach you the ins and outs of your moon cycle. I will help you identify your Ayurvedic body type. I will talk to you about your chakras and we'll locate your blocks. We'll talk about your masculine and your feminine energies and understand where your strength lies. We'll talk in detail on how to chart your cycle and what details to record and how to interpret the observations you're making about yourself. And we'll put all of this together to help you find a life that's more aligned with your moon cycle. And if this sounds a bit overwhelming, I know it can. I will be there to guide you every step of the way and I'll give you baby steps. We'll be making small changes a little bit at a time, but things that will have a huge impact, things that will leave you feeling more energized and more vibrant. I think that this wisdom is game changing. I think every woman around the world should have access to it. I think women should be talking about it. So do come connect on social, post your questions in the Facebook group or even post your questions in the comments below and I will try my best to answer it. Thank you so much for watching. Sending all of you love and light.